Hey, y'all. The real Jimmy Roberts one here. Sometimes I really wish I wasn't aware of some of the things in which I am aware. Believe me, I have plenty of other things I could be doing. Fun things. But I am aware of certain things and I have a self-imposed responsibility to repair the ill-driven thought process of as many of you as I can regarding the fact that we aren't alone and never have been. Now, there are many who fight these efforts, sometimes out of ego and ignorance. Well, they are harming everyone, including themselves. People need to know what happened on Mars. Now, this production is entitled 10 Images from Mars That Cannot Be Denied. And notice I said 10 images, not the 10 images. It's not limited to these. Now, there's plenty more where these came from. In fact, it was a chore just to pick 10, but we did. But we fell through experience in dealing with everything from the curious to the dubious to the close-minded, hard-headed skeptic. And nothing wrong with being skeptical. You have to be. But the word skeptic now carries with it a stigma, just like conspiracy theorists. They both cause harm. But we've seen people begin to search their soul after seeing images like these because there is no mistaking them for rocks. All of these images are from the rover Curiosity. And this is a great one in which to begin, simply because of this. Now, most people are dumbfounded by this, and I'm a little surprised it was left for the taking. Most people I've shown this to naturally begin to look around at the rest of the image, now being more inclined to see all those rocks for what they really are. A washed out two-dimensional images can be a tough sell, but not here. When people see this, they often begin to comment on whether that is made of wood or something else. A normal person will not mistake this for a rock. Now here's another shot of the same area, different angle, same result. Ask any five, six, or seven-year-old what they see. The answer is never a rock. I wonder why. This one is from the same day, just right down the road. Nobody knows what this is, but it's easy to see what it is not. Most people look at Mars images expecting to see boring dirt and rocks. So how will they explain this? I've got an idea. Show this to your friends. My claim is that the civilization on Mars went kaboom. But I've been told that I have absolutely no hard evidence showing pieces of anything artificial lying around. Gosh, they're right. You know, this could be anything like, I don't know, someone's giant Lego set left out in the dirt. Okay, a caveat here. People do first need to be made aware that about halfway up this image, there's a drop off of at least 300 meters and I can prove this in 3D. We'll get to that soon in a production, it's coming. But still, people generally do recognize that something is going on down there. Okay, the reason we're showing this mosaic, which is great evidence in itself, but it, it's to show the context of the next two images. See, they both come from this area. People generally recognize long slabs of rock, especially when it's concrete and molded as such. 
This is unmistakable. Sometimes the simplest of shapes are the most damning. This is irrefutable. There's far more evidence in this image of a former civilization than there ever was that Lee Harvey Oswald fired a single shot. But it's up here where you'll first grab people's attention. It's hard to deny that. The next image is something we added because our longtime viewers, well, they deserve to see something new. I was examining this area using a 3D method and discovered something. Here's an approximation of what may be going on. I hope you see how easily everything is camouflaged here. These aren't rocks, folks. Hey, I'm gonna come through right here. Look out! Look out! Here I they all just see a bunch of rocks. 